here from 2011 to 2014. I actually started in 1997, so I'm a non-traditional student. Gave up on Fort Lewis in 97, and then 13 years later decided to go back. Underneath this footprint of what you see here, we have four floors. We're on the fourth floor, including the basement. Uh, the top floor, these are gonna be all labs up here. Um, with the observatory, the picnic tables, and the uh, the uh, telescopes with the roll-off roof, and the landscaping. I think this is gonna be such a nice place to hang out. Everybody on campus is gonna wanna hang out on this terrace with that beautiful view of Durango. Entry at the far east end. Um, as you walk in, there'll be a three-story, uh, a three-story uh, causeway all the way up that it's gonna display um, rocks throughout the millennia uh, so they'll be uh, they're gonna start at the oldest and do a timeline of rocks that goes up all three stories right at the entrance there on the east end this this whole area form a, a brand new quad campus area it's all gonna be brand new landscaping and hardscaping there yeah well over here we're gonna have uh, a couple of small patio areas there's gonna be an basically an outdoor hallway at this second floor elevation that runs the length of this uh, this uh, building profile here, and that's gonna look down onto the quad, the new uh, landscaped area. Right. So that, that'll be a nice space there. This area here is going to be a uh, study room. Uh, the study room is going to have LED lighting with pinholes all over the roof and fiber optic cables delivering light to those pinholes. The pinholes will represent the constellations and the stars of the night sky. So you'll be inside looking at a ceiling that represents the night sky. So that'll be pretty cool for the astronomy department. These will be big labs, big open areas in here. All these rooms on this half of the building are gonna be large open spaces for uh, lab work. So this here will be a corridor and an entrance at that end and then we tie into the old burnt here. So that corridor will follow all the way down to the, uh, to the CBBL building and the biology lab. And that's where we're gonna connect down there. These will be Labs also, I, th I think these are all geo geosciences labs, but I have to check, this may be an engineering lab. Uh, one, there'll be an overhead door here for bringing in equipment. And then over here, we're gonna have, in this building that we haven't built yet, we're gonna have a, a machine shop. The basement we have, about half the basement is taken up by our mechanical systems, a mechanical uh, room, basically the guts for the whole building. Uh, the other half is two, uh, th there'll be a geology storage facility down there with uh, shelves that, movable shelves for large capacity storage of uh, specimens. Bummed that all this is coming around after you've already graduated? No, I'm still proud to be a part of it. Uh, you know, the, facility, the facilities were adequate, but it was really the personnel that, and the, the relationships at Fort Lewis that meant a lot to me. And I'm proud to be a part of this, and hopefully there'll be some good science coming out of here for the next hundred years. And just having been a part of it, is special for me, even though I wasn't able to attend and 
use the facilities and be educated in them, uh, I still feel like I'm an integral part. Wait to see this since the beginning of the project. It's pretty cool. It'd be a nice place to watch the fireworks.